welcome back to Food Prep Guide, and we are continuing on with the pantry challenge. Tonight's meal is another quick convenience meal, but still made from home, still made from scratch. It's a meal in a bag, three cheese tortellini. This is something I like to prep and have on my shelf for busy weekends. This is each of these little shells are filled with cheese, so that's yummy. All we do is add, let's see, we boil four cups of water. We like to add a can of peas. That's just because we love sweet peas in our family, but we've done this before with broccoli. You can put any kind of vegetable you want in there. Some carrots would be good. Um, if you are gonna be using a canned vegetable, go ahead and pour the juice in with it. So don't drain your vegetable first. And then normally, to make the cheese sauce, you just add a block of cream cheese at the end. And that's how I'm going to type it up on the blog because it's with, with cream cheese, all you need is this bag, a canned vegetable and cream cheese and you have dinner on the table in about 20 minutes. But I don't have much cream cheese left. I think I have one, maybe two blocks of cream cheese. We still have two weeks left in this challenge. I need that for future meals. So I'm just going to make up a basic white sauce similar to the mac and cheese sauce that we did yesterday. If you hear that popping, that's because I have my pot already coming up to a boil. Um, anyway, back to the cheese sauce. I'm going to make a basic cheese sauce made with starting out with the roux, but instead of making it a uh, cheddar cheese like we did yesterday for macaroni, we're gonna keep it an Alfredo type of sauce with using white cheddar and Parmesan and some seasoning, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, it'll be really good. So this is coming up to a boil. While that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and melt two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour to get going on that roux. Okay, this water is already boiling, so now we're just going to add the contents of our bag. I'll have everything typed up for you and linked in the description box below for what's in this bag. And to that, I'm gonna go ahead and add my can of peas, not draining the juice first. Give that a good stir. I think I forgot to mention I'm also going to be adding canned chicken. This is a quart. I'm thinking I might not need a full quart of canned chicken. Well, I think I will. This doesn't have any other meat in it and we're a family of five so I think I'm going to go ahead and put the full quart in but I'm going to drain out, drain out the juice first. I think we will do a video in the near future after this challenge about canning chicken. For years, I was terrified of canning chicken because it just seemed like, you know, botulism and pressure canning and just seemed a little complicated, but it's not, it's not at all. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on this and bring it back up to a boil. Once it's boiling, I'm gonna lower it to a simmer. We're gonna simmer it for about 20 minutes, which is just for the pasta to get cooked. Our butter is melted, so we're gonna add the flour to get going on our cheese sauce. I'll just use this. Okay, I've had that heat on for a while, so it is already ready to go ahead and add our milk. So to that, we are going to add one cup of milk. Now we just let both of these things come up to a boil before we move on to the next step. Our pot is boiling, so I'm going to lower it down to about a three. Set the timer for, I'm just gonna go ahead and do 15 minutes. Just to test that pasta, all we're doing is just boiling out some water and cooking the pasta. So that can take anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. As for our roux sauce over here, we are just stirring it so it doesn't burn. And in just a minute, we're going to add our cheese and seasonings. Okay, our, the base for our white sauce is boiling and bubbling really well. So we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese sauce. This cheese sauce is just a taste. If you like it real cheesy, go ahead and load it up. I don't really measure a whole lot. If I had to guess, I'd say probably about a quarter cup. And this is a white cheddar cheese powder. And some Parmesan, I'm gonna have to get some more. We're going to do about a quarter cup of total of that as well. The 
Then I'm just going to salt and pepper it and turn the heat down just a tad. For an Alfredo type of sauce, I like to do just a tiny bit of garlic and onion, but this is just to taste, just however your family likes it. If you're looking for a good project of sorts to start cooking more homemade in the kitchen, learning just a basic white sauce and how to adapt that for mac and cheese sauce, Alfredo sauce, sausage gravy, um, that's a really good place to start because it's just two tablespoons butter, two tablespoons flour, one to two cups of milk, and then you just start seasoning it according to what dish you're making. You can save a lot of money by not having to buy Alfredo sauce or boxed mac and cheese or those sausage gravy packets at the store that are so overpriced <laughs> and half the ingredients you can't even pronounce them. Okay, at this point I'm going to taste it and see what it needs. Mm. It doesn't need anything. I'm going to turn the heat off. That is good just as it is. And remember, you can totally skip that step of the cheese sauce and just add a block of cream cheese when this is done. This has about 10 more minutes on it. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, our pasta is done. I just turned the heat off. I'm going to slide it off the heat just a little bit. And we're going to add our cream sauce. Here's what that looks like. Nice and thick. Mix that in real good. Okay, we are done. Let's scoop some of this in here. There we go, three cheese tortellini using only ingredients from your pantry. Remember, you could have just added a block of cream cheese if you don't want to do the uh, do the roux sauce. This is a meal in a bag that you can prep and keep on your shelf on your shelf for sick days, for busy days, for weekends, for I don't feel like cooking days anything like that. It's a great meal to have on hand. Hope you all enjoy. Bye.